Well, in preparation of putting that diesel motor in the boat while I'm waiting for the new starter to come in, I want to clean this pan up and it's got rust around here with the original paints off of it and all. And I want to paint it really good. So what I'm going to do to make sure I get all of that rust away and get a good bond is I'm going to sandblast this pan, clean all of that up, and then I'm going to put many coats of paint onto it. Now, um, I brought a sandblaster actually from the United States. It's just a little hose and gun, and we're going to use beach sand out here. Let me show you. It's a sandblast gun. Got a pickup tube here on it. And just put this down in a pail of nice dry sand. It's got to be really dry so it can flow. And when you pull this trigger here, it causes a suction here. Suck sand up and blows it out under pressure. And now I can clean that part up really good. Well, I got the most of it off. This pan has been repaired before. I wanted to find a new pan for it. It's not been real easy. Um, I think a company up in Boston did this work right here. But that weld right there has got a gap in it. And it's got a gap. And it's got a gap. Which I'm sure trying to weld on this stuff ain't the easiest thing maybe. But... Um, I definitely want to try to close those gaps up, but the flange side looks, looks pretty good. Looks like they got it pretty nice on that side, but it's got like this little weep. But one of the things I found was the bolt on this corner right here was not even in the pan. So from that bolt hole all the way around to that bolt hole, the seal wasn't being mashed down because this one was not in it. And it hasn't been in it because their sealer was squeezed all the way up, closed on that hole, and up in the threads for that bolt hole. And I cleaned that out. So that's probably a definite reason for it weeping some oil out right there. Um, I want to clean this thing up really good. I want to get any of this grime off. I'm going to have to uh, scrape on it a little bit. There's some thick buildup on there. And I'm going to give it one more shot. But I like this. Clean it all the way down to the bare metal. It means I can get a good primer on it and a really good paint job on there. I put many coats on it. I got the oil pan sandblasted. I scraped it around, got a bunch of gunk off of it, sandblasted it again, um, put a little primer, and then I just painted it, painted it, painted it. And I think I put maybe like five coats of paint on here. It looks really good. Um, it was leaking and one of the things is they flat out left the bolt out that one right there as I said earlier They flat out left the bolt out of it and then another place where they had done a little repair on here before um, There was a hole in their weld and that hole that blew through was all the way to the inside too So it was weeping through a tiny little hole where they had done a little bit of bad job on a weld But I fixed that as well. So it's all taken care of Shouldn't be any more weeping. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. These are little maintenance things you want to do before you put the boat motor in. Uh, that was one thing I told my mom when we brought this motor out and set it down. I said, start 
looking for leaks. Clean the bottom of it super good. Let's fill it full of oil. Let's set some underneath it and see if there's even one tiny little drip. And we found two little drips. And so one of them was where they did not put the bolt on the corner and it did not properly seat the sealer. And the other was the little weep hole um, from their little well job they did here. But it looks good and the pan is actually overall in pretty darn good shape. Uh, most of the pan on this is a um, like a hard cast like pan. Let me show you. And so this is just like the sump itself, the very bottom of it itself. And the rest of it is all cast, as you can see. Yeah, it's all cast. And they had left that bolt right there loose. And you can see that sealer still there. I got to come out here and scrape that off. And so it was weeping around that. Because that's a pretty big area around from that bolt all the way to that bolt. Well, as I said, that now that little boat's going, that I concentrate back over on the sea ray. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So the starter's been here, it's been here, my goodness, been here maybe three weeks now. And uh, Cap's over here hanging with me. It's a hot day, guys are working. We're doing a little projects all over this place right now, and him and I, are gonna do this little starter project. And while I was upstairs with the work crew, Cap's already pulled the starter there out of the way. The old one, let's look at them right here. So here's the new starters you can see, and here's the old one. Uh, different manufacturer, so I do see a different in casting here, like this is three bolts, where this one's two bolts. Um, everything else looks the same the same the same but this is a brand new starter not a remand yeah it all is the same and this tick this same company right here is the one i bought my starter for my hilux out there too and man what a good starter they sold me boy it beat out anything i had so we'll give her a try and see and then now that I have this one, if this starter turns out to be all A-OK, -okay, now I'll take this starter and go take it up to the city, try to find a really reputable place that maybe can rebuild it. If they was able to repair it and it seemed pretty good, I'd wrap it up and, um, and some good like greasy cloth and plastic and seal it and stow it in the boat because that's one thing that's killjoy if you have a starter go out and you're out on the water. All right, well, I guess we'll see about putting this on and see if it'll whirl it over. You ready to give it a shot, Cap? Ready. Let's try it. Yeah. 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 We'll do a contact. 